the delves are much, 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 much easier in a group. And this kind of bothers me a little bit. Because delves is one of my favorite new features for more within. But, um... The fact that it's so much easier to do in a group, and the the rewards are exactly the same, and there's no special reward for doing it solo, this does bother me a little because it's. I feel like there should be a corresponding some type of rewards for doing it solo, even if it's just like titles, pets, like cosmetic things. Uh, I would like that because it's much harder like you, i have to when i go in there solo at least on hunter and well anything even tank i really have to bust my ass and make sure i use every tool that is available to me use all my buttons and like really work put in the work to clear it i mean they are solo you can solo them all and we are still low on eye level Right. Now, if what you wanted was solo content, was content you could smash solo without gear. Oh no! I love it as solo content. I think it's really fun. Uh, I, I enjoy it so much more whenever I have to plan and use all my traps and think about the healing and my defensive CDs and my interrupts and my stuns. Like, it's amazing. I love that. It's, it's really engaging. Um, but I need to, I'm also a loot goblin. Just saying, some people seem to be mad that it's so hard. Maybe I'm reading the critiques wrong. Oh, are some people, I wouldn't be surprised. I bet people are mad that it's hard. I, yeah, I bet that is true. <laughs> I think some people thought it was gonna be super easy casual content. Um, I think it kind of is in a group though. <laughs> Am I wrong? I feel like it's pretty crazy easy to get eye level 603 gear in a group in a delve. It's pretty easy. Like, it, it feels too easy considering how high level the gear is. They have made a number of scaling changes already. And again, this week supposedly making it tougher for groups with correcting some scaling. Oh, really? Where did you hear about that? Oh, really? Well, I would like to maybe do some delves today. Uh, I could, I have been soloing them without too much of an issue on Marksman Hunter now that I've kind of gotten to the swing of things. I think of the delves thing as a place where you can learn your entire class, not just spec. Yes. Because some specs inside class have an easier time, which doesn't mean you can't do tier 8 delve on any spec. Oh my god, that's such a good point. Such a good point. The other day, uh, somebody was asking about um, priest in delves in the Discord, and I started Googling it just out of curiosity. And... Uh, I found this really amazing post that made me actually think about leveling a priest because I was so fascinated. And I think it's a very good example of how interesting delves can be if you start thinking about your entire class kit. The person said, they soloed delves to 11 in beta and now up to nines on live. They said basically mind control a mob before combat Preferably a caster with bolts that deal a ton of damage. Fade to drop aggro and unload on the mobs. First of all, this is super cool. What a cool strategy for dealing with random mobs in there. Mind control a caster. Also, potions of invisibility, potions of water breathing, so you can sneak past. Fade, so you can drop aggro to Bran, his pets, or your mind controlled minion. The talent, where you take less damage when you flash heal yourself. Mind Soothe, make it past packs that are near objectives. Mind Vision, scout out a delve when available. Man, this is such a fantastic example of somebody using every tool available to them to kick ass and delve. Fear works extremely well for me. I talent into Petrifying Scream to make them stay in one spot to not aggro other mobs. I do delves unholy, so I'll give advice on that. So amazing. Talking about DPS talents to make chastise stun is so important. 
I don't even play priest, right? But I thought this was such an amazing post and it made me feel so inspired and it showed me just how, uh, like what the potential is for Delves to get people interested in their class kit. You know what I mean? Like there's so much to dig into there that you can learn. Um, and I, this has been true for me too. You know, norm normally every day, uh, like I don't, I want to do my best on Hunter, but there's a difference between knowing that you have the abilities and then getting practice actually using them in realistic situations. That's not as hectic and scary as an M plus, you know? Uh, so for my Hunter, I've started to get used to using abilities that I hadn't really been using enough before. Things like Bursting Shot, things like Implosive Trap, Binding Shot, Tar Trap. The, I haven't even been using Wing Clip, but I know I need to be using it, and now that's another tool at my disposal. Camouflage is amazing. Misdirect. Somebody in Twitch chat the other day, they were like, you need to use Misdirect more. What a great advice. This helped me so much. So the other day I was on uh, Prot Warrior in a delve, and somebody in the Twitch chat said that I needed a weak aura to track my ignore pain. And that helped me so much too. And I became way tankier because of this advice. I mean, I think Delves have so much potential for people to really grow and, and improve at their class. And it's awesome. It's fun. There's so much depth to WoW classes that I really uh, I enjoy. There's so many like little tools and little tricks you can pull out of your sleeve that you might not have thought about straight away. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. I think Hunter is a good example of a class like that. And maybe that's the reason I've wanted to uh, play uh, Rogue. I've been thinking about leveling the Rogue a bit and seeing how Rogue plays and delves so you can experiment with all these extra little tools and tricks and things. It's such a good feeling when you are creative and come up with a creative solution to a problem like that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> It really is a case of use intelligence. You can expect to just face roll. To be honest, it's how hard soloing used to be. Had to use various things to achieve success. Oh, it's funny that you say that because it reminds me of back in the day, back in my day, I remember watching videos on YouTube of people uh, soloing raids, like soloing. I remember seeing a video of a mage that soloed UBRS, Upper Black Rock Spire. And that was when that was current. And I remember being so amazed because he had this like trance music playing in the background. <laughs> it was this undead mage. And I remember watching this video back in all these years ago and thinking, wow, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he's like freezing shit. He's blinking away. He's polymorphing stuff. It was so cool. Now you can do that in a delve. <laughs> 